What's up everybody, welcome to my new video. Today we're gonna to be writing some code for what we have here, the hourglass. We have a tilt sensor. I'm not, I'm not too sure how the lights are supposed to move, but we're, we're about to find out. I'm following a tutorial. So here we are writing the code. Here we have some built-in code. So in this lesson, you'll learn how to write code that lights up the LEDs at regular time intervals. You will tip the, the, the tilt sensor and detect a change, detect a change, the, and detect a change the voltage on this digital pin. Okay. Declare a name console. Right, let's go. Let's move forward. I'm actually gonna keep, I'll remove C++. We already know that it's equals plus. Const int switch pin 8. What else? I'm sure there's more. There's gotta be more. Unassigned. This one I've never used before. Unass un not unassigned, but unsigned. Long previous. Zero. Copy the code below into the code editor. No, just type it up. Next. That was for zero. Create a variable for the switch state and another to hold the previous switch state. Okay. Copy the code below in into the code editor. Alright, we have a switch state now. Int switch state. Int previous switch state. Uh, wait, I did. I thought I didn't spell it right. Switch state. Switch state zero. Int LED two. There it is. Continue to the next uh, two. That's it, right? Digital pin two. Oh, let's move. The last variable you're creating is going to be an interval between each LED turning on. All right, let's move. Long interval. Why is this one unsigned long and then regular long? I wonder what the difference is. 600k. In 10 minutes, the time between each LED turning 600,000 milliseconds. That's 10 minutes. Uh, I copy the code below into the code editor. Copy the code below into the code editor. I did that already. Copy the code below onto the next one. In your setup, you need to declare lead pins two to seven. This is for pin off oh, setup. Okay. Declares all six as output with just three lines of code. In the pseudo code, for all right. So here we are. All right. So I had to start. Actually, I think I might just need this one here. I'll leave that one. And then we'll just do a for loop. X equals two. X less than eight. Almost like a JavaScript one. I haven't done JavaScript in a while. But here we are. Pin mode. I'm still using pin mode, but I'm gonna use X and output. And then I'm gonna use another pin mode. Switch pin input like that. 
So output and input. That's the setup. Runs once. All right. Okay, so now in the loop, we're not gonna be using delay anymore. We're gonna be using milli, milli for milliseconds. I don't know if I'll get there. Oh, we will. Right here, milli. So let's go ahead and start off with loop, which is already on there. Unsigned again. I don't know what unsigned means. I'll learn about it. Current time. Millis. Copy the code below into the code editor. Okay, I'll do that. I'm actually gonna remove this one because I get a little bit confused. We'll call the millis simply returns to. Like, I'm uh, I'm gonna uh, add a the serial monitor. I'm not running it just yet, but then we're gonna have an if statement. Find out if 10 minutes have passed. I'm guessing that's gonna be the milliseconds. If 10 minutes have passed, so using an if statement, you'll check to see if enough time has passed to turn on the next LED. Subtract the previous time from the current time. If 600,000 milliseconds have passed, you update the, vari the variable previous time to the current time. So here we are. If I wish they had a uh, autocomplete, that'd be nice. But it's not. It's not like. It's not like uh, Xcode. Alright, so here we are. Yeah, it doesn't show it on the picture right here. The closer, we'll close it later. It also doesn't close the loop itself. So we have, inside we have, wait, why is it not indented? It's indented here, weirdly, <laughs> like eight times, eight spaces. Previous. Time and current time. Current two T's. Current time. All right, we move. We move. Now we're gonna write. Um, when previous time updates, you'll also turn on the LED and increment the letter variable. So every is it every ten minutes? All digital hourglass. So this is one hour right here. Why is there a tilt sensor? What does that have to do with it? Can't that just be ran off a uh, off of code? I wonder what the tilt sensor is for. Guess we'll find out. Okay. Switch pin A. So whatever switch pin. I don't think we've used switch pin yet. All right. Let's continue. Which. Gonna, it's kind of write digital write digital lead high lead like that and that's it for this one this code sets pin 2 to high pin 2 first one First one on the right. Set if all lights are on. Add one more if statement in the program to check if the LED on pin seven, all the way on the is turned on. If it's turned on. Okay, and then we're gonna close, I guess. If this is still part of the if led. Wait, this one's this one? Why is it way out there? Why is it not matching with this one? Kind of weird, right? End of nested if. Like that. End of outer if. Outer if. That's this one.
And we'll do one more. So we're going to do read the switch value. Reading the switch value. Where does that go? Does that go after? Does that go inside of the loop? Now that you've checked the time, you'll want to see if the switch has changed its state in the meantime. Read the switch value. Alright, let's switch. State. Digital read. Or, yeah, digital read. Switch pin. So we'll do it for now. Thank you guys for watching. Y'all have a good ass day. Peace out.